All right, so hi everybody. Welcome to week one of MCM 100, Introduction to Media Communications. I am your instructor this month, Brandy Perrigan. I am looking forward to having each and every one of you. This is a great start to the program. I think you are gonna love this class because you get to learn a little bit of, about everything that you're gonna be learning throughout your program. So that's gonna be really awesome. Um, we'll even make this kind of like an open discussion kind of um, live session so then we can all talk um get to know each other and talk about what we're excited to learn this week and this month as a whole so to get started so i'm brandy i will be instructor this month and just a little bit about me here is my contact information if you need me uh, my email address um my extension if you need to get a hold of me um just to let you know in case you don't know um, your instructors are located in on the East Coast in Florida. We're actually not in California, so we're East Coast time. Um, so I have East Coast hours, so I'm available from 1 to 9 p.m. Eastern time, Monday through Wednesday, and then 8 to 5, um, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Thursday and Friday. And then if for some reason those times don't work for you, like you need to set up a one-on-one -on -one or something or a call, outside of those hours, just let me know, send me a message or an email or something, and um, I can work with you. So no worries on that. Um, a little bit of my background. I have a master's in PR and bachelor's of science in internet marketing. I have over seven years of industry experience in marketing. I've worked as a digital marketing specialist, a social media coordinator. I've worked at a local newspaper, a local crunch uh, fitness franchise. I worked in a... Um, marketing and IT firm, and my specialties include social media content strategy, branding, and analytic reporting. And this isn't my only class that I teach. I teach a few other classes throughout the program. Occasionally, I might be teaching marketing fundamentals. I do teach mar uh, project and portfolio one. Um, and I also teach uh, social media strategy and management. So since we're all new here pretty much i'd love to get to know you guys and your goals and your interests so um jess if we can start with you that would be awesome okay um so i've always wanted to be i guess in social media or some sort of media um i guess industry um okay. i was a freelance makeup artist for seven years oh, nice um yeah so i would do this price and you know just local i'm, I'm in texas uh, so just using local events. Um, I ran into uh, Alex Dumpscroll through Instagram. I wasn't really too familiar what media communication was um, until I started seeing kind of what, uh, I guess what I can do with that degree. I still, I'm still not super familiar with it, but um, I know I wanna be <laughs> something with like social media manager or NPR as well. That's a great field to go into. Because I mean, everybody needs social media and everybody needs PR, no matter the industry, the business, right. um, a client, everybody needs social. It's where we're at. We're on our phones constantly on the computer. I mean, you know, it, it makes sense. So right. no, I think that's a great bill. And media communications is a little bit of everything. It's social media marketing, mm -hmm. graphic design, it's journalism, it's PR, it's writing, it's building websites, you name it. So. Yeah, everything seems super exciting to me. I just want to get to know a little more as to what each career, like yeah. what I do in each career, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And you're going to be learning about that this month. And we'll be diving into cool. careers for week three. Um, Let's see. Um, trying to think of what else. But yeah, makeup. That sounds awesome. I'd love to, you know, if you have even makeup tutorials and you do marketing or, you know, you know, for you market your makeup tutorials, I'd love to see those. So yeah. I haven't done it. I haven't done it in over, I don't know, four or five years. Okay. Um, you know, yeah, I'm at a nine to five now, but uh, it's definitely not something that I want to be doing right now. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's cool. I, I love to hear that. I, I know we all go in different directions. So that's cool. I like that. Cool. All right. Uh, Brittany, I I'd love to hear more about you and your goals and your interests and See what you like to take away. Maybe she, she might be away from her computer. 
And you guys are welcome to use the chat box as well. I'll be checking that occasionally. All right. Well, um, well, you guys are more than welcome to jump in and share your thoughts as we go along. And have, if you have questions, uh, feel free to let me know. So this is a digitally forward communications degree. So pretty much everything you're going to be learning in this class and throughout the program, you're going to be able to apply it to a potential career after you graduate. So for some uh, tips for success in this class and the program, be sure to set a schedule, whatever that looks like to you with that side, your work hours, um, maybe use a planner, use um, Google Calendar. Um, I know some students use a dry erase board to set their assignments for the week, a notepad, um, you know, whatever tool that works best for you, find a system and get it into place now. So that way you are set and ready to go throughout the program. Ask questions. Um, all of our instructors have worked in the industry before. So if you don't know something or if you wanna know more about something, feel free to ask questions. Stay organized. I know it can get a little messy at times and that's okay. So be sure to let me know, make sure your files and things are organized. That way you can be successful throughout all your classes in the program and you are able to find things. Something that has worked for me in the past is work on assignments and chunks. So maybe do a little bit each day. Do part of your discussion one day, do part of it the next day, then by Wednesday, you're done. Same things with your bigger projects at the end of the week. Do a little bit each day. And then most importantly, self-care. Um, you know, take care of yourself. This is a very highly accelerated program. So make sure you're doing things for you and relax and do something fun on the side too, besides doing your homework. And I know that's maybe easier said than done, but you have to take care of yourself in the process. So very important thing to remember. Does anybody want to add to that? Maybe some, you know, important tips that you'd like to share with each other? I feel like to take care of most of like the people, like the workbook, more of the, I guess to me would, I would consider like the easier portion of it, which is just kind of like the paperwork type of thing. The more creative process, I do like to leave it uh, like on my days off because I do like to, well, I guess once I get started in the creative process, I just want to stick to it the entire day mm -hmm. um, and just fully focus on that. So I do okay. like to do this, I guess the more the paperwork stuff just kind of like earlier and just finish it all in one day and mm -hmm. the rest just kind of take my time with it just because, you know, I like to get creative with it. Yeah, yeah. And anytime you know how it is, like once you get in that creative spark, you just want to keep going, right? Right. So, yeah. So I get to that. Um, but, you know, it's okay to have that downtime and, you know, re-energize and have that time for yourself too. You know, and then, you know, once you're ready, you can hop right back in and be creative again. So that's awesome. Courses and credit. So you have 10 general education courses, 14 three credit hour core courses. 12 four, wait, 12, four credit hour core courses. And uh, there's no doubling up on classes during the program. So what that means is you will only be taking one class at a time per four weeks and not two classes at a time or even multiple classes like at a traditional uh, college, right? During an 18 week core uh, program or semester, you would have four classes. This you have one a month. So take a moment and look at this current course sequence. I think this has been updated since I last taught this class a few months ago. Um, does anybody have any uh, questions about any of the classes that uh, you guys will be taking in the program? Just out of curiosity. Okay. So um, in the yellow, these are your general education courses. You are in month three currently at MCM 100. Next month, you will be taking storytelling. Um, they changed out, where is it at? Trying to find inter entertainment marketing. They changed it out with marketing fundamentals and that is in month. Oh no, this is the updated one. Yeah, month eight, you'll be taking marketing fundamentals. Sometimes I might be teaching that class. Sometimes I might not be. Depends on the schedule per month. 
And then you'll have me again for month 10 for project and portfolio one. And then in month um, 21 is social media, media, um, social media and strategy management. So 36 classes in the program, roughly a three year program. Um, so it's, um, it's, it may seem like a long ride, but it's gonna go by faster than you think. Any, any other qu any questions about this before I go to the next slide? Just, um, no, okay, cool. So here's a weekly outline of the, uh, the course. So week one, we're gonna do set up and connect. So this is like, you're getting all your tech kit items and you are um, connecting to things like Discord and YouTube and doing a weekly vlog project. Week two, you're, we'll be focusing on media consumption and Adobe Express. And uh, week three, we'll be talking a little bit more about careers and doing different discussion boards and things. And in, in week four, um, we will be talking about media evolution and trends, and you will be learning how to conduct an interview. So a lot of students like that project. And just to kind of give you a heads up now, you will have to interview somebody in a different generation than you. And, um, you know, can't be like somebody like your own age. It could be like a friend. It could be like a, a grandmother or grandparent or um, a parent or uh, even like a child or something like you're if you have a kid, um, you can interview them. So that's a pretty uh, cool assignment to look forward to. And we have Tamia here. I just want to say hi to Tamia real quick. Um, and Tamia, you are welcome to unmute yourself or even use the chat box, whatever is best for you. It's perfectly fine. But I do want to say hello real quick. Cool. Your tech kit items, which you should have received in month two, they did update this, I know. So this might not look exactly to what you have received. Um, so I understand that you guys, I and, if, and I just wanna clarify, did you guys receive cameras? Is this the group that received cameras? This, okay, cool, you did. So it's not on this list, cause this is like a, this list is already outdated, I guess. And um, um, I don't have the camera. And we don't have any assignments pertaining to the camera this month. You will down the road. Um, but from my understanding, you guys got Sony cameras, which is really awesome. But start playing with those. Google some tutorials. Go to YouTube, TikTok, and see what you can do with those cameras. And some of these items, you might might not be included anymore. So, um, and, and let me know if there's something missed. If you are missing something from this list, let me know. Um, that way I can reach out to the appropriate person to make sure you get those items because you will be needing them in the program. But also to just to let you know, they might have took some of these items out that um, you might not be used, we might not be using in them anymore in the program. So just to kind of give you guys a um, heads up on that. Um, is anybody missing any tech kit equipment? Just so I know I can reach out to. Okay, cool. And if for some reason you find out you are missing something, um, just shoot me an email and I can reach out for you, okay? All right, so here are some of the career options that um, students look forward to after graduating from the program. Um, so things may pertain to like, if you wanna be like a digital media specialist where you get to work with graphic design and media assets, and that could be like for news or for social media or something. A communications manager, this could be somebody that works in PR. A social media manager, which is uh, something that Jess mentioned, she was looking into working in, in that area. Advertising manager, a creative director, some higher level positions, even like a media producer, somebody that works with media assets and graphics and maybe some animation, some video, podcasting, uh, editing, whatnot. Journalists, if you love to write. It could be for blogs, a magazine, uh, the news media, a newspaper, um, a writer. So if you maybe if you want to publish your own book uh, or blog, be a blogger, uh, maybe a writer or something for you. Media production manager. So this person would obviously work with video heavily. Um, 
and even maybe even doing some editing for audio. Public relations specialist, so if you enjoy writing, talking to the media, meeting people, writing up press releases, uh, doing speeches, PR is definitely the route for you. And then um, media entrepreneurship, if you are wanting to own your own business, uh, sell your stuff through, um, you know, online on social media, like a service or a product, or even um, doing affiliate marketing, like a lot of people do on TikTok, then maybe being a media entrepreneur is for you. And these are just to kind of get you started, to kind of get you um, an idea of what you can do after graduation. These aren't the things like you have to do. This is just to kind of give you an idea of what is out there, what you can explore. And honestly, the list kind of goes beyond this a little bit, but this is trying to, you know, they kind of get you a head start into um, things that you can do after graduation. So it's later on, but like I said, you, you will blink. I can guarantee this program will be over with. You will blink now and this class will be over with. It goes by that fast, but I'm sure you guys have figured that out um, with the last couple months. So um, it's crazy. It goes by so fast. All righty. So I just want to kind of, yes, it does go by super fast, Jess. It really does. All righty. So um, week one overview. Here is a week at a glance to kind of give you an idea of what's going on this week. Um, tonight is Monday. We have our live session and make sure you go in and review the syllabus. Look at all your week one activities. And plan out your week, like I said, use like get a method, get a system going, um, and then plan out what you're going to be doing each day. You don't have to do everything in one day, and but don't wait till the last minute either. Um, by Wednesday, your 1.1 initial discussion is due, and then your 1.2 assignment is due. And don't kill me, I need to look and see which assignments are going to be due because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Let's see here, I will tell you. Mm. So your 1.2 is you're going to be setting up your iPad. So everybody should have your tech kit iPad. Um, go ahead and set that up. You will be needing certain apps. So they are tutorials on how to set up those apps on your iPad. Um, on Friday, you will need to reply to two of your classmates in the discussion to receive full credit from the assignment. And your 1.3 assignment is due. So you will be setting up a YouTube account. You will need to follow Ellie's three news channels. And um, your 1.4 connect on Discord assignment will, is also due on Friday. So you will be um, joining Discord where all the other students hang out um, and you can engage with each other. And um, Make sure you are using your first and last name that matches the one in the LMS to receive full credit. Um, and on Sunday, your 1.5, your tech kit um, recording setup is due. So you just need to take a picture of your tech kit equipment, the ones that require um, in the assignment, like your um, iPad, your microphone, um, and the, um, the ring light. I believe it is. So make sure you take a picture of that and upload. And then your 1.6 reflection vlog um, project is due. So basically you're going to be vlogging and doing a video of yourself, talking about what you learned this week, um, talk about your setup with your tech kit and um, you know what you like about it so far, what you don't like about it. I want to hear about those things in a vlog. I know a lot of students feel a little uncomfortable being on video, that is okay. Um, you know, I didn't always love being on video or on camera either, but look at it as like, this is um, your chance to learn new skill, um, to step outside your comfort zone a little bit. It is okay. And it, you don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. There's no editing involved, nothing. Just, it's just you answering the questions needed. And you know, that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, that is this week in a nutshell. Pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All right, Jess has a question. She says, let's see here. If we already have a YouTube account, 
Should we create a new one? Yes. So I I think I had this question a couple times a day, and that is okay. Um, yes, you will be creating a new YouTube account, and make sure you use your Los Angeles Film School email address because we want everything to be kind of separate from your personal. Great question. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Well, that actually concludes tonight's first live session of the month. Um, does anybody have any other questions, anything you want to talk about? Um, you know, I, you know, we can also talk about other things that, you know, pertain to the class of the program. Um, so, um, I, you know, I, yeah, sure, Tamia, I, I actually don't know a whole lot about what happens with graduation because, um, I, I will say this, you, you are welcome to ask whatever you would like. The only thing I do know is since we are pretty much like a brand new program, we've been running for about a year and a half. Um, uh, we haven't actually had graduates yet, but yeah, I mean, you, you're welcome. I can see, or I can even point you in the right direction. So yes, feel free to ask. Do you, I know how it works. I actually don't know how it works. I mean, I, I know that'd be left up to the school once you get closer. Um, I know some students ask about like a career development. Do they help with jobs? Um, but you, that usually doesn't come till towards the end where you get to connect with an advisor. I do know that, I will say that. Um, and then you can kind of connect with them from there and get their um, career advice. Yeah, I'm not really for sure how it works either. Like I said, we're brand new pretty much and we don't we haven't had graduates yet. So um I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. But if I if I learn any new for information about graduation and if I hear anything, I will I will send it to you guys. I mean, you know, that's always an exciting time for students. Um enjoy the, you know, enjoy the ride. This is a journey. Let's see here. Cool. Just says, what kind of jobs can you get being a social media manager? Well, pretty much the social media manager is the career itself. And like I said, I mean, every industry needs social media, right? Or some kind of social media something. Um, I mean, you're talking like sports, entertainment, fashion, um, education, healthcare. Um, small businesses, um, trying to think of what else, well, I'm trying to think of other industries, um, crafts maybe, um, art, but I mean, I, I'll be, I'll be real. Any, every industry needs social media because truthfully that is where every, some somewhat audience lives is on social media. Oh, okay. So my confusion is like, what exactly do you do? Run the social media accounts. Yes. So you run the social media accounts. So um, you would have to manage them, make sure everything are up to date, bios, branding. Uh, you would have to make posts. So if you enjoy creating posts, um, you need some kind of like graphic design skills, um, even like tools like Adobe Express or Canva. It was really good. Um, you're gonna have to do some hashtag and keyword research with some tools. Um, we can talk about that later on. Um, and then, you know, you would have to look at analytics, see what's working, what's not working, set campaigns, learn a little bit more about social media, like paid advertising, how that works, how to connect with your audience, uh, making sure that you're engaging with your audience on a daily basis, um, learn about social media management tools, like what are the best tools to, um, <clears throat> schedule your post from, um, I'm trying to think of what else. Those are the main things I would say, what like a social media manager would do or somebody that would work in social media would do. Even take photos. Some, even social media managers take photos. So if you enjoy, if you enjoy those things, I mean, um, I would definitely say, yeah, go for it. Um, and it's a fun, it's a fun job. It really is. It's a fun job. It's a lot because social media changes rapidly. 
Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's see. Tamia said, okay. Can you explain the vlog project again? Yeah, so for the vlog project, I will say, so that's like your bigger project at the end of the week. And basically, um, you wanna make sure you have your setup. So that's like your 1.5. And then there's some tutorials on how, like uh, some tips to kind of talk about how to present on camera, how to use the Smart Prompt Pro. So um, they should have sent you a code for that. And then you're gonna be using that app and make a script on your iPad. So while you are recording on your iPad, you're ac actually reading a script. So make sure you answer the questions under 1.6, like, um, like introducing yourself. Where are you from? Uh, why are you getting a media communications degree? And then talk about the highlights of your week. And um, that would be like your experience setting up your tech kit and how was the experience for you and uh, what it was like to prep being on camera. And then once you are done, um, go ahead and upload that to the LMS under 1.6. And make sure you are recording like in a well-lit area. You don't want to be in the dark. You want to make sure you don't have any background noise um, and making sure you are visible on camera. Those are some of my best tips. Does that make sense? I just want to make sure that's clarified for you. Um, does, does, does anybody else have any other questions or about the assignments or? Cool. Well, Okay, let's see, just sounds like fun. Okay, okay, just wanted to say, um, sounds fun. Oh, I work for TikTok now behind the scenes, but creating is more my speed. Oh, well, that's cool. So wait, so do you, I just wanna make sure I'm reading that right. You you work, you actually work for the company TikTok or do you, you do TikToks? I just wanna, I just wanna clarify. Either way, TikTok is awesome. I love TikTok. I'm hooked. <laughs> I'm trying to start my own TikTok too. Oh, really? Jess, that's awesome. She works for the company and does moderating and does moderating for videos. That is so cool. I'd love to learn more about that. That is so cool. That's awesome, Jess. I bet that's a great company to work for. That sounds really exciting. Oh man, and yeah, and feel please feel free to share more um, with us on that. Um, I know a lot of students are into TikTok and they're interested in that, and they already do videos and things with TikTok. So that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. it sounds like as fun, but it's because we're, so we're, we're moderating, we're just making sure that the videos are following the policy and okay, you know, nothing explicit or like crazy, which you'd be surprised. Um, but I want to be more on the creative side, like learn how to edit the videos, like these transitions sometimes are crazy, you know, like I'm like, how do they do that? So I want to be on the creative side of it, like, but yeah. No, that's really cool. And you know, it's like, I, I started my own TikTok too. And um, mm -hmm. I don't post as regular, I know like really consistently as I should, because I, I kind of have a purpose for using mine. I'm trying to do like more concert vlogging and, mm. um, and I don't go to concerts, you know, every day or every, you know, every week right now. I mean, that's like, it gets, that gets expensive, but um, you right. know, I, um, you know, I, I, I also learned too, I, I learned in a, um, the Adobe conference I had last week, this one girl was talking about TikTok and uh, a good tip she had was, you know, 
even if you don't post consistently every day, um, at least stick to a niche, you know, like sometimes those good quality videos can outweigh, you know, the consistency. Yeah. I'm saying so. So I learned that I'm like, wow, I don't feel as bad for not having feeling like I need to post every single day now. So for now, anyways, so. I started cool. my own during um, I'm quarantine as everybody did. Right. And uh, so I started picking up a little bit, but it was just kind of like um, mouthing the sounds and whatnot, you know, but yeah. now it's more of like short vlogs on there that I'm seeing or, you know, reviews or hauls or just anything, but, you know, it's you, your, your, your voice. I'm, mm -hmm. that's what I'm seeing more on there. Right. No, I, I love that. And everybody's, you know, can create and do their own thing and mm -hmm. even learn about things. You know, I, I've learned yeah. a lot from TikTok, you know, about, oh. Oh, I learned so much. Don't get me wrong. I do my own research too. I, if I think something seems off, I'm, I'm Googling it. I'm going, mm -hmm. I'm going to the thing I probably shouldn't do either, but you know what? I, <laughs> It's, it's it's interesting to learn people's perspectives on things i think right you know but you know and then but it gets me too like with you know the um um you know people will do like this affiliate stuff or they you know they're partnered with sponsors and yeah. things and it's like oh come shop with me at target or you know let's get a you know look what i found yeah. on Amazon. and i'm like oh man this is dangerous now i've caught myself in some <laughs> <sticky> situations <laughs> yeah um, the um what is it the amazon signs uh those oh, kill me i'm i'm lucky that i'm pretty busy this week i don't need to be on any of it <laughs> i'm not i'm trying to even stay away from tiktok but i do have a video i, I want to try to edit tonight so um, from a, from a concert, a festival I went to this past weekend. So I hope that I can. Oh, uh, fun. Yeah. So I want to do more of that. So I'm, I'm kind of like right with you guys. I'm experimenting, I'm learning, I'm trying mm -hmm. to keep up with the trend still and trying to, you know, even dedicate my craft to like a passion project. So even passion yeah. projects are fun to do, like even with TikTok. So. Yeah. I love editing. It's something that I really enjoy doing. Um, even before TikTok, I used to just take random videos of, you know, a family party or a big event or whatever, yeah. a trip mm -hmm. and put it all together at the very end. And I would just post it on Facebook. <laughs> I just love doing that. No, oh, that's so cool. I love to hear that. Gosh, no, there's so much you can do. Even with Instagram reels. I don't know. Does anybody do Instagram reels or? No. no. Yeah. TikTok no. is where it's at. Yeah. yeah. My sister does, she, she does the reels on Instagram, but, and she's actually in this class as well, too. She's at work okay, I, I was, <laughs> okay, I have questions because uh -huh. I saw two people in my class with the same last name, so yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if I had relatives or cousins or sister, okay, I did not know, oh, that is so cool. Yeah. Oh, that, okay, pa Patricia? Patricia, yeah. Uh -huh. Where's she? She should come to, to our live sessions. I know she's at work. Oh, she's at work. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And she actually works with me as well too. She works for TikTok. No. Well. Oh, <laughs> that is too funny. Yeah. Okay. I. That's awesome. Well, tell her. I'd like to hear more about her TikTok experience as well. So she's welcome to yeah. shoot me. Everybody here is welcome to shoot me messages, and we can talk about TikTok and you know, marketing and, you know, branding and anything media communications related that you have questions about. I am, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here to support you in any way possible. Um, you know, anything that I can do to help, I, I will assist you in that process. So that is so cool. I had, okay. I did see two people with the same last name and I, I was wondering earlier, let's see, Tamia, how far can this degree take you? Oh, Demia, this degree will take you. It'll take you in any direction that you want it to go. And it will, it may surprise you because you could come in here interested and in, be interested in one thing and then come out with a completely different direction on where you want to go with it. So, I mean, like, like you come in here, like I want to work in social media, but you may find yourself being like, you know what? I, I want to work, you know, as a journalist now. You could do that. I mean, because we cover so many different areas. I mean, you're getting like a taste of everything in this program. So um, 
I, I will say it's going to it's it's going to take you to the universe and back. If I'm being honest, you can go anywhere, anywhere you can work remote. Every company is going to need some kind of media offer, some kind of media type position, and they need people. I will say this, um, you know, this is a very uh, popular type of program um, that different colleges offer. I think ours is very unique. Um, we are a three-year program, but you learn a little bit of everything and it's fun. I mean, this isn't like boring learning. This is like all hands-on tech heavy. You get to work with instructors who've worked in the industry and you know what, they're here to help you. Um, they are the, you know, um, they are the people. They're, they're going to be the ones to help you. Let's see here. Um, two things. I'm Okay. So, oh, so she, to me, is interested in podcasting and journalism. Great choices. Am I able to extend the three? So, um, so no, it's just three years. The program is just three years. Um, you are welcome to come back and audit courses. Um, that's the thing is media communications. You know, it's one of these things that with social media and stuff and whatnot, this stuff always changes. I mean, we're talking daily. Um, so, I mean, you may want to come back and audit a course and, um, you know, just as, you know, be current with everything. Um, but yeah, podcasting does sound like so much fun. That is later on in the program a little bit. And Steven Roble is the instructor for that. He's awesome. Oh, no, podcasting is, I, I love podcasts. I love podcasts. I'm a little bit behind. I'm a little behind on listening to podcasts right now, but I do love podcasts. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to end my um, screen here. Or I'm going to stop recording.